Okay, so this is a video demonstration of NetDroid running on the Nokia N800 internet tablet. This is a port of Google's Android operating system. Um, as you can see, the touch screen works. I can scroll between the home screens here, just like you normally would on the, uh, the G1. And we can also pull open the menu and check out all the applications. Uh, most of them, some of them work, some of them don't. Um, I have set up my email here. So I can show you that. I've got all my inbox here and uh, we can scroll through here. I can click on one to open it and it works just fine. I've got reply, reply all and delete here at the bottom. So that's the email client. works just fine. Uh, we've also got the software store available here and this is a uh, Here's the list of applications. We can see new ones, uh, ones that are hot, a regular directory, and then I can search. So we can accidentally click. The touch screen is a little bit overly sensitive, um, but you can scroll between these. And here's the iTunes remote control application. I can click on here to download it. and it's going to bring me an information page about the application it's downloading it now I can then click on it to install it, it tells me that I need uh, access to my network connection which I have so it's installing the iTunes control application now and there we go we can launch it now so this is the Mission. It's searching my network for iTunes libraries now, which I don't have any, so um, we're going to go ahead and cancel out of that and go back to our home screen. From here, we can get back our main things. Let's open up the browser here. And uh, the browser works fine. I'm using Wi Fi. Obviously, cellular connection isn't possible because the N800 does not have a SIM card. and you can press the menu key over here to bring up the toolbar on the bottom and we can go to uh, more, let's see our history here includes, um, oh look, mobile burn is on here so as you can see the browser works just fine loads up pages quite nicely and this is the mobile burn uh, home page the status bar on the top tells us how far it is downloading we still got a little bit left over here and we can scroll through the page we can open up a link here uh, the touch screen needs to be calibrated, but other than that, um, it's a little sensitive. Works okay. Uh, we can also, there is a uh, on-screen keyboard that was ported over for this. So if we bring up that submenu again and do go to URL, here is the on-screen keyboard. Let's us uh, type in a URL that we want to go to. It's a little bit sensitive, and it has a bad habit of doing things twice. So if you press uh, the M, you may get two M's and that sort of thing, but um, you can type on it with your fingers that's a little bit slow but um, so that's the on-screen keyboard see now I've got five or six W's up here you can see that we've got Android Authority pulled up here um, you can scroll up and down the page quite nicely there's zoom buttons that appear down here in the bottom you can click the left one to zoom in You can also drag the page anywhere and drag it around. It's a little bit slow, uh, a little bit kludgy to use, but it works just fine. Oops, we can pull out that application window again and 
So that's uh, NetDroid running on the Nokia N810, N800 internet tablet. Uh, thus far, the on-screen keyboard w crashes quite often, and obviously the browser is a little finicky as well. Um, charging is an issue. It does not like to receive a charge while you're in NetDroid, so a lot of times you basically have to uh, reinstall Nokia's MAMO operating system, charge the battery, and then reinstall uh, NetDroid. So the whole process takes roughly maybe an hour or so, um, but it's not too complicated.